What's up, gamers? It's time for more CGGP Nitro. Look, I'm a toad. I heard you guys loud and clear. I meant to use the dry bomber. Like, which one's the dry bomber? Oh, I thought that said dry Bowser. No, it doesn't say that. that that's a Mario Kart? Okay, whatever. Yo, what? Mario Kart Wii tracks? Let's go, dude. I am mostly a Mario Kart Wii YouTuber, so I will very much accept this fate of playing Mario Kart Wii tracks on the channel. <laughs> oh, this looks really good in DS. Oh my god, they even have the Miis. That's so cool. Okay, I haven't played this game in a while, so apologies in advance. Damn, that Luigi statue looks good. Oh, just play playing in uh, this quality is just really cool. It oh, they even have the ramp look and they have the item box on it. God, the pipes look huge. Let's just go around there. Damn, big fan. Okay, apparently you could like, this is like what you what people use to snake. And people told me that I'm like trying to drift too fast. Like I should hold it for longer. Yeah, like that. Oh yeah, I can I can I can see how people could get into the swing of that. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, dude, this is this is incredible. I think this is it's this model from scratch, or maybe it's like the original model but decimated. I don't know. This that definitely feels lower poly, but it also it also looks like it looks just as good as it does on the Wii, like in its own way, you know. Just Mar Mario Kart DS mods in general just look really good. I don't know why they look so good. I I guess like someone said it in the comments too, and you know what? I I think it's because uh, it's like the sweet spot between mod. Excuse me. Excuse me! It's like the sweet spot between modern hardware and retro hardware. So, like, you don't need to be able to model, like, super detailed stuff. Oh my god, Mario Odyssey! <laughs> oh my god, I remember when this got ported to Mario Kart Wii. And that was, I was, like, really crazy back in the day. Like, 2017, 2018. It is a Mario Kart DS. Yeah, that's wild, man. It actually played really nicely in Mario Kart Wii. You could, like, do tricks off of here and you could, like, go on the rail and, like, skip turns and stuff. And I think they were like, <laughs> I think they made it like a car track in Mario Kart Wii, but in Mario Kart DS it's just like a simple circuit, which is fine, pretty simple, I'm down for it. And five laps I just noticed, yeah that's a good length, that's a good length, three laps would definitely be too short on this, so I'm, I'm down for five laps. Bruh. Dude, I'm getting slaughtered by the CPUs, I'm so bad at those. Should I try and do like a gap cut shortcut? I'm gonna try and do like a gap cut shortcut. <laughs> All right, let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, and the, the mini map's on this one too. That's nice. I, I didn't I didn't check the Luigi Circuit one to see if that was a mini map, but oh well. Dude, where's this last guy? He's like so far ahead. Hammer Luigi. I'm looking at the uh, the icons. Dude, stop! Dude, I'm gonna I'm getting slaughtered. <laughs> stop! Whatever that item was, I needed it. Okay, that's Hammer Luigi over there. Let's pass him. There we go. And now we need to get a banana. No, that's not a banana. That's nothing. That's not, that's not anything. Okay, I need a banana. No, not that banana. No, no, no. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry for a second. Yo, another Mario Kart Wii track? Hell yeah. Okay, from looking at that little intro, I think it's based on the Mario Kart Wii version, not the Mario Kart 8 version. Oh, nice looking tree, dude. This is hype. I assume the cows aren't going to be here because I... I, I I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would like make sense for the cows. But I don't think Mario Kart DS had anything. Oh, the ramp's gone. That's interesting. I guess it makes sense. There's no use for it. You can't do checks. But this this ramp's still here, of course. The big one. The big boost ramp. And oh, they got the moles as well. That's nice. They don't move because they can't move in Mario Kart DS, I assume. That's still awesome. And yeah, people were, uh, <laughs> I batch recorded the first four episodes, like, oh, came faster than I was expecting. I batch recorded the first four episodes, so like, I, I, I couldn't respond to comments in video, but yeah, I did notice the speedometer, and I know it's new to CTGP Nitro, I just didn't really point it out for some reason. But yeah, there's a speedometer on the bottom screen. That's probably very useful for time trials. I've also been informed that like a, uh, that a video showing like, for the world record for CTGP Nitro uh, custom tracks. So um, maybe after the series, I'll try and get permission to like do a reaction or something. But I know about Mario Kart DS Tech. Like, you know, I know snaking. I know the PRB thing where you uh, like, you can like keep your rocket boost going or something. I also know you can dodge blue shells, but I didn't succeed. <laughs> People told me you have to like do a mini turbo and then hop. Oh dude, I'm getting, I'm, I'm gonna get slaughtered. No, I didn't mean to use that either. Wait, they're attacking each other. No! N64 Toad Turnpike. Oh, N Nintendo Yoshi made this. I know, I know this. 99% uh, Nintendo Yoshi made this because they made a Mario Kart Wii track, a custom track that looks like this, and I think they said it was based off of their DS custom track. So I think, I think this is Nintendo Yoshi. Damn. Well, I don't like Toad Turnpike, but you know what? I'm willing to, I'm willing to do it <laughs> for the video. Oh god. 
You know, actually, I, this is alright in, in Mario Kart DS. It's bearable. Although, maybe it's just because I'm bad, so the long the long straights don't feel as boring, because it's like I need a break from the action. <laughs> Whereas in Mario Kart Wii, I like it to be constant, non-stop drifting and action and craziness. Is that a boomerang up there? <laughs> oh, I think it's meant to be a streetlight, but it just looks like a boomerang to me. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like based on the Mario Kart 8 version. It's like a combination of the N64 one and the Mario Kart 8 one, because it's got the three lanes, sometimes two lanes, and it's got the Mario Kart 8 visuals, but it didn't have like the, uh, it didn't have the boost panels on the side. Oh well. Very, very pretty. Oh my god, I'm like doing somewhat decently. I'm very surprised. There's a blue shell. Wait, look at the mini-map. All the all the cars are just numbers. Why? I don't understand this game, dude. Maybe they're like maybe they're like custom cars so they don't have like a mini-map uh, icon, so it's just showing numbers. That 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 makes sense. I can imagine that's what it is. Well there we are. That's uh I didn't even look at what the cup was. <laughs>